Hey guys, it's Lindsay with TFD Style. Today's video tutorial is going to come to you a little bit more as a tip than a tutorial because it is so extremely quick and easy. Um, I have been picking up these canvas prints at discount stores like TJ Maxx and Home Goods lately. Um, I love them because they cost maybe uh, between $10 and $25. Um, and they do a really good job of um, getting ones in that are really on trend and up to date with the current styles and colors um, that are hot right now. So I've been finding a lot that I like and when I buy them, when you buy them, you'll find that they don't come with any hanging hardware. Um, so that's part of the deal when you're getting a good bargain. So I just wanted to show you that you don't need to um, use the traditional picture hanging kit to hang these guys. Um, and I also want to show you how to do this because if you were to just put a nail on the wall and try to rest this on that nail, you're going to have to worry about you know trying to center it on that one nail. Whereas if you have a wire, you can easily adjust the picture um, and you can only just, you can put just one hole in the wall as opposed to like having to put two holes so that you can level it. Um, plus when you do that, then you have to worry about getting your holes level and it's just a big mess. So this is quick, this is easy, and you can do it um, probably with things that you have laying around your house already. So to get started, you're gonna flip that print upside down and obviously make sure that the top of your print is at the top. Um, what you're going to use is florist wire. I, you, I'm using this, but um, you totally don't have to use this. If you have another type of wire laying around, feel free to use it. Um, I think that even like a jewelry making wire would work. Um, I'm also going to use two thumbtacks. And I like to cut my wire with wire cutters. Again, these are jewelry wire cutters, but you don't have to do this. If you've got some craft scissors um, that you don't mind boogering up laying around the house, feel free to use those. Uh, I just tend to be pretty anal about my scissors, and I found that when you do cut wire with them, it puts those little notches in the scissors that then make cutting paper and things like that a pain. So I like to use these. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wire, and you're gonna unroll it and lay it across your print. And you want to give yourself a couple of inches on either side there to work with. Clip that off and lay it down. Then you're gonna take your thumbtacks and you're gonna come down a few inches from the top of the artwork and push your thumbtack in about halfway down to get started. Do that on either side. Make sure when you do this that you um, it doesn't have to be exactly centered on this piece, um, but you do want to make sure that your thumbtack isn't hanging over the edge because you will see it from the front. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take that wire, set it down on top of your tack or on the underneath the tack there. Take the tail and wrap it around the tack a few times. Then you're going to have a little bit left over. Take that tail and wrap it around the long piece that goes behind the print just to secure that. Run the wire over. It doesn't need to be really, really tight. Just tight enough so that when it does hang, it doesn't pull up above the print. So wrap that one. Take that tail. Secure it to the wire. Then you're going to go back in and just press those thumbtacks down so that they're as close to canvas as you can get and then you're ready to hang it. Alright guys, so there you have it. Super quick, super easy way to hang your canvas prints or pictures that you have laying around. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.